All right, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be doing one of the more important ones and that's going to be trying to save objects and then also checking out on how to load objects into our world from our save file that we create inside our custom uh, folders. So with that, we're gonna be checking out the ins and outs and the basics of how to do it. And yeah, that's about it. So let's begin. So the first thing is we're going to have a world which we're going to be playing a game or moving or whatever. So once we're done with that and we want to save our state, we're going to be selecting and saving our selection and items into a save file which will have our selector. And that will choose which save file number that we're going to be saving our object in. So that's for saving. Now in terms of loading, let's say we want to load an object. What we're going to be doing first is we're going to be going into the selector to check the specific save file that we're going to go. We're going to go into that save file and what we're going to do is load the items in that save file to the world. A little easy process, but that's about it. So first thing we're going to do is create a save load manager, which is basically going to have our, fa our main functions, the save, load, load the objects, and just to check to if a file exists. Other than that, we're also going to be having specific paths. For now, I hard coded the path, so it's not too hard just for our uh, purposes. Other than that, the next thing we're going to be doing is actually filling out these functions. So the first thing we're going to be seeing is actually the uh, constructor itself. Now for the constructor, the first thing we're going to be checking is we're going to be going into that documents folder where we're going to be saving it for now, just as a uh, hard code. Then we're going to be creating a file and we're going to choose an exclusion file, which we're not going to save inside. Now we're going to try to open it and read the binary. And if we are successful in reading it, we just close the file. But if we are unsuccessful, the file doesn't exist. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating that file in a right binary and we're just going to write zero for now and then we're going to close the file. As for the destructor, we just destroy all the pointers and clear our object. For save, however, we're going to first get all the nodes inside the in the world and then we're going to choose the exclusion file that we don't have and we remove it so it doesn't save. Then we're going to choose the specific save file data that we have, we're going to go to the path and we're going to save it in that. As for loading, what we're going to do is we're going to first open the selector that we created and we're going to choose the specific number and rewrite the number inside it. For now, it's just going to be 0, 1 and 2. And then we close and load the world itself. As for load objects, this is where we actually get the value inside the selector and then we're going to load all the nodes inside the safe path which the selector chose our save file from. As for file exist, we're going to first create a boolean which is a false and then we're going to go and try to check which save file we try to open and we're going to see if we can actually read it or not. And if we do manage to read it, then we close it and we return it as true and all that. As for get value inside, we just open it, read the string and close it. Nothing too fancy over there. Now the first thing we're going to make is a game menu, which will basically hold everything that we want. The first thing we're going to be holding is going to be this long amount of stuff. The first thing we're going to be doing is going into our initializing and then we're going to get the main GUI and we're going to create a new save manager that we just made. And then we're just going to create buttons which will hold specific names and specific positions and everything. And then the main thing that it's going to actually do is the callback, which when we click on it, it's going to open the specific. So menu will open menu, save one, will try to save the first one. As for the save two, we'll save the save two and save three, we'll go to the third save. And as for quit, we click the button and it should quit the game on us. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add this into the GUI so we can see it in our main screen. And also, if it's not a new game, then we load the objects into the world. As for shutdown, what we're going to do is a very simple get the main GUI again. And then we're going to check if the objects are inside the GUI, we remove it and delete the objects. Now for C sharp, this should be all 
but for C++ we still have to use the functions which main menu gets us to the main menu name on save saves the data into the object and then it quit quits the engine closes it permanently and that's it for the C++ side now as for the main menu itself we're gonna have almost everything but instead of writing everything we'll just talk about the specific thing that I want which is the file exist boolean and we're going to be using that as a logic inside our main so the first thing we're going to check is if the file does exist then we will add that load but if it does not then what we're going to do is just going to add a simple warning error message and as again c++ will have the functions while c sharp is done on new creates a new load loads it warning is just a warning so with that in, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the set environment user profile, which will be in our users, and we're going to be uh, joining over here. Then the plus documents that we add in the constructor, what it will do is it will get us into our documents folder. The next thing is for the selector itself, we're going to add it inside our data file. So over here, we're going to create a folder and we have to create a folder. It will give us an error because we did not do any extra logic. And inside this folder is going to be our selector dot text. As for the safe path, we do not have to worry about this for the computer or the program will automatically generate those files. As for empty world, we're going to go inside our data and we're going to create that empty world to which we are going to load all our nodes into. So as we go inside here, the first thing we're going to do is delete everything. And then we're going to add an empty node, which loads all of our objects into it. And we're just going to call it the game menu or a world loader or whatever you like to call it. So for now, we're going to call it game menu and we're going to make sure it's not a new game. So it actually loads the objects into the world. As for the main menu, we're going to be creating another node. And inside that node, what we're going to be creating is going to be a main menu. And inside the main menu, we're just going to leave it as is because all the logic is inside the program code itself. And for the last object, we're going to be using this new game that all I did was just add a few more objects just to make it look a little bit more uh, or we can see that there's quite a lot of objects in there. We're going to create a dummy and then give it a game menu to which we are going to add that game menu uh, component again. But this time we're going to click on the save game so it knows, I mean new game, so it knows that this is not to be loaded in here. So after trying it out, what we're going to do is first things first, opening it up and we can see that the selector text has been created. And as we go in and open it, we can see that the default zero value has been written down and everything is working perfectly fine. So the first thing we're going to do is check and we can see we don't have files. So it tells us it does not exist because it did not create it. So we create a new um, world. We go, we do whatever we need to do. It doesn't really matter. And then after doing all that, let's say we are done and satisfied, we press save game and we save the game. Now, right now, we don't have any logic to overwrite save from execution. So better save for a long time before you move. And then what we do is we go inside and we can see our documents. We have the company name into the game name into the save file that we have made and it's unopenable because of its binary reading and now we can press load and we can see that we are loaded back into exactly where we left off all right so other than that i guess that will be everything in terms of save file i will see you guys next time all right goodbye